the word declares, put on the whole armor of God that we may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. We must be equipped for the battle and the journey. One can chase 1,000 and two can put 10,000 to flight. There is multiplicity in our God. Without the truth of God's word, we are in constant arrest between the spirit and the flesh. And so is the spirit of man when our passion for the flesh and its desires distance us from God and victory. Principalities set up lies in the high places of our minds that consume us. It is time we take every thought captive in obedience to Christ. Like David, we cry, search our hearts, O Lord. Cleanse us, Father, of filthiness with the sweet water of your word. Spring up in us the victory of everlasting life and quench our spiritual thirst. God asks, what are you afraid of? The rain and rivers, the evil winds that blow and beat against your mind? Do not worry about your lives. Are we not more valuable than the birds of the air? Stand firm, place your feet upon the foundation of the rock. He promised us eternal life if we confess and believe. Ask, do I glorify him in all I do? Do anything and everything as a loving service that is pleasing to Father God. Then stand firm. The belt on which everything else hinges is like a very special blanket. Covering dishonesties and hidden agendas with the blanket of truth causes them to become visible. Today, the king declares, I blanket you and your generation with truth, and I declare the eyes of your understanding are open. Truth brings my presence. It brings reformation. Truth brings revival. It starts movements. It's time, my love, my bride, for such a time as this, my army. Righteousness that latches on for life, my Christ. With a covering beyond my own, more than survive, I thrive. A sky full of space between his yoke and my collarbones. Burdens and penalties lifted before him, I drifted. Ah, but now I float in his sea of forgetfulness, so that when lies arise planted in my mind that I am less or not yet whole, his breastplate I wear is the hope of my soul. As we lace up our shoes, the Prince of Peace is the message of salvation we share. By his grace, we receive encouragement and the strength to fight the cares of this world with God's Son, Jesus, at our side. Preparation lets us walk with a sense of calmness and assurance and a knowledge of how this battle ends. While Satan walks around seeking to devour, God's army walks in victory and claims the final hour. You promised a mustard seed of faith was enough, but what if a tiny seed in the storm gets crushed? Our shields become shells to ward off Satan's blows. Humbly we crawl to you, steady though turtle slow. We will seek you till we find you in both the highs and lows. We will seek you till we realize that this is how faith grows. The enemy seeks to steal, kill, and destroy, but Christ came to give, live, and build on. Through his victory on the cross, we are saved and made whole, cleansed by his blood. Yes, we are redeemed by his love and sacrifice. His salvation is our helmet, our eternal protection. Through his word, we are continually renewed. O Lord, our King, we pray fervently that you grant us the mind of Christ and the wisdom and faith to wield carefully the potential within the sword we clutch the privilege to defend, the authority to pull down, the power to save a life. O oh, Father, teach us to be accomplished swordswomen and men, sharply cutting to the quick as your truth redirects a life. Umbilical cord, if severed, assures our death, and so we stay connected, pouring out our hearts, life in upheaval, whispering pleas and praise. Overwhelmed by grace, his love and mercy, his blessings amidst the strife, amazed by his plans for our lives. This weapon of prayer we hold and wield fights off the enemy's onslaught. Even if we're caught off guard, he never is. Limitless, bottomless, incomprehensible love for us. Falling more in love each day, we learn, listen, and give to him more of ourselves each time we pray. The king says, together we can change the course of history. Rise up in truth, my beloved, multiply my army, and take territory for my kingdom and for my glory.